Tutorial Video 9 – Advanced Motion Methods Now we will discuss the different types of advanced motions that our cobot is capable of achieving to realize your application. In this video, we will discuss some of the different types of motion that the Omron TM cobot can use to fit in your application. These methods of motion include point-to-point, -point, line, waypoint, blending, relative move, and circle. First, let's dive into point-to-point -point motion. Point-to-point -point is the fastest way to get from point A to point B, meaning that you cannot designate the actual path the cobot will take. It is best to use point-to-point -point if there is no danger of colliding with objects that are within the path from point A to point B. Now let's discuss line motion. Line motion is path dependent and will move in a straight line from point A to point B. Line motion is preferred when trying to avoid collisions with obstacles that could be adjacent to the path AB. Here is an example of linear motion versus point to point. Now let's discuss waypoint motion. Waypoint motion is a movement with two steps. The first step uses point-to-point -point motion to position the end effector above point B with an offset on the z-axis. The second step uses line motion to move the end effector down to point B. This motion occurs in the z-axis only. The approach height can be adjusted as a percentage of the total z-axis travel. Now let's discuss blending. Blending can be used between two points but is especially useful when an intermediate point is needed for obstacle avoidance. Let's say we must travel from point A to point B, but there is an obstacle in the way that prevents us from traveling directly between these two points. In this situation, we would need to add an intermediate point, point A2, to avoid the obstacle. Without blending, the cobot would move from point A to exactly where point A2 is, come to a complete stop, and then move on to point B. With blending, the cobot will pass near point A2, but does not stop precisely at this location. Blending is useful when accuracy at the intermediate point is not necessary. By using blending, we can reduce wear on the motors and shorten cycle times. While point nodes are absolute motion commands, move nodes are relative motion commands. The move node can be used to make a relative move in Cartesian coordinates along the tool base or the current base. The move node also allows the cobot to move relatively in joint space. For example, in the Video 8 Modbus application, we used a move node to make a relative movement along the z-axis to recover the cobot before moving back to the home position. Let's move on to the circle node. A circle node is useful when the cobot needs to move along a circular path. A circle requires three points. Step one is to create a starting point using a point node. Step two is to define the pass and end point in the circle node. Step three is to set the angle. This is the angle that the cobot will travel around the circle. Here is an example of the cobot using all of the advanced motion techniques. This concludes video 9 of the Omron TM series tutorials. Thanks for watching.